What's up guys? It's your girl Kid and I'm back with another video. Today's video is all about how to shoot better in NBA 2K21. In NBA 2K21, the shooting is a little bit more challenging than the previous 2Ks because this year's 2K has a very, very small green window. So throughout this video, I will give you guys some very important tips to green and more your shots how to time your jump shots and I will show you guys the main shooting badges that you need and how to find the best jump shot for you. Let's get right into it. But the main key to shooting in 2K21 is your hot spots. And if you don't know what hot spots are, if you're in my core, all you have to do is press the big um you know the big old black button in the middle of your uh, PS4 controller. And then bam, your hot spots will pop up like that. As you can see, I have pretty much all of my hot spots. I have a few white spots, and then I have one cold spot right here. Just because it's cold does not mean you can't hit in that spot or that you can't green in it. It's just it's just a cold spot. It might be a little harder to hit in that spot or green in that shot, but once you're in one of your hot spots, you should be good to go. But you can also pull up your hot spots like this. Just press the options button on your controller, scroll over the stats. Go to my minutes, scroll down to your player name, press R3, that's just, you know, clicking in the right analog stick. Press L2 like three or four times, and bam, your hotspots are right there. You can also press square to scroll through and look at your park and your rec hotspots as well. But I honestly believe this year, this year that your My Career hotspots transfer over to park and rec, which is a great thing, which is a great thing. And it works for all your players. Okay, now hot spots are very important because once you're shooting in your hot spot, that helps your greens. That helps you get more greens. That increases your green window and things like that. So your hot spots are very, very important. Now, if you want to know an easy way to get your hot spots, you got to check out my shooting badge tutorial video because I also talk about a way how to get your hot spots really, really easy and quickly. In my career so if you need help getting your hot spots or help getting your shooting badges make sure you check out that video just click the link in the description below or click at the top right of your screen and you will see that video make sure you check that video out it is going to help you guys out a lot all right so we talked about the hot spots and this and that so now let's get into the shooting badges okay keep in mind this is my slasher build my slasher only gets gold shooting badges but to be honest, if I can shoot this consistently on my slasher with a 75 three point and also on my perimeter lock that has like a 72 or 73 three point and I use the same bad, the same bad setup pretty much on all of my builds, you guys should be able to hit more shots and shoot more consistently as well. So the main badges, how about, how about we do this? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the right order you need to work on your badges. Okay, first badge you need to max out is range extender. Get that as high as possible. Get your range extender as high as you possibly can. The next badge after that you need to be working on is hot zone hunter. Because after you get range extender, you should already start getting getting your hot spots and all this and that. So once you have hot zone, once you start getting your hot spots and you equip hot zone hunter you will start greening way way more i promise you once you're shooting in your hot spot you will start shooting way more and catch and shoot those three badges right there those three badges right there are the first three badges that you need to be really knocking down your shots and then that's when you can add on your dead eye and your corner specialist and your volume shooter and your green machine and stuff like that. But those three badges, catch and shoot, high zone hunter, and ranger center, those are three badges that you really need. Off rip, off rip. And another thing that I forgot to mention as far as when it comes down to your hot spots. Okay, if you pay attention to my feet, you see those little red indicators on my feet, you see? Those where my hot spots are. That's why I forgot to mention that. If you, you know what I'm saying? Like, see now, this is a white spot. And if I go right here, you see that it turns blue. That's a cold spot. Then I go back out. 
it turns back red. So that's how, you know what I'm saying? Those are little hot spot indicators. Like if you're in the park, you're in the wreck or whatever, you wanna know where your hot spots are, pay attention to the little to the little indicators by your feet. Alright. And another thing I want to talk to you guys about is really the shooting with meter versus no meter and then using the shot aiming. Okay. So if we go over to options and then controller settings, I believe. Is it controller setting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So once okay if you're using me to see i have my meter just on free throws only i don't want the meter that meter is too small for me that's just me though i can't see it and it throws me off but if, it, if the meter works for you then fine if you're greening consistently with the meter then fine but if you're not and you're struggling with using the meter i highly suggest that you turn your shot meter off because once you turn your shot meter off you still get a boost you get a boost than shooting with no meter versus meter okay and so if when it comes down to shooting especially if you're a shooter you want all the advantages as you possibly can now another advantage you get is if you use shot aiming okay you see right there shot aim my shot aiming is off personally i have not tried shot aiming yet but there are some people out there who do use shot aiming and i played up against the people who use shot aiming and the boost that they get is insane so, like I said, those are some things that you need to look out for. If you want that extra boost to your shot and all this and that, I highly suggest either using no meter or try out the shot aiming, okay? Start shooting with the pro stick and try out the shot aiming so you can get that extra boost to your shooting. And also, 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 when it comes down to you using your jump shot or timing your jump shot, I highly suggest turning your vibration on once you have your vibration on once you shoot and when you're supposed to release the button or release the analog stick whatever you're using to shoot your controller is gonna vibrate okay it's gonna vibrate telling you to let go telling you to release your jump shot that's giving you your green window that's giving you your cue that's giving you everything now the only thing I will say about vibration if you are slightly delayed or if your park is delayed or if you're lagging a little bit, the vibration will be off or it won't trigger. That's the only thing. But I do highly suggest if you're having a problem with timing your jump shot, you're struggling with that, finding your green window, practice using your vibration so you can get your timing down pat. Okay? Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is very very important okay finding the right jump shot for you finding the right jump shot for you and learning the timing of your jump shot every jump shot is not meant for everybody it doesn't work for everybody all these youtubers making jump shot videos and this and that just because that jump shot worked for them does not necessarily mean it's gonna work for you or just because a jump shot is working really really well for your friend does not mean it's gonna work for you and your build okay so don't feel too bad if you can't use you know what i'm saying every i know a lot of people are using d wade and all this and that don't feel bad if d wade and all that doesn't work for you because everybody's different Okay, so but the key to finding a right jump shot that works for you, I highly suggest doing this right here. In your my court, make sure your settings are on at least superstar. At least superstar. Okay, if you really want to test it out to the max, put it on Hall of Fame. But at least superstar, just for your my court, for the purpose of finding a right jump shot and testing out your jump shot. Test natural jump shot, okay? And whatever jump shot you want to use, whatever jump shot you want to test out, go to your jump shot creator. Your jump shot creator is right here. Test out different bases. Test out different releases. Now, a lot of people feel like the release of the jump shot has something to do with the timing. No, your release doesn't really, it just affects, you know what I'm saying, how high you release your shot. So that affects, you know, the contest. You know how how people can contest it and this like and stuff like that but the timing is going to stay the same the timing is determined by the base okay so test out different bases and releases and combinations and stuff like that make you up some jump shots in the jump shot creator 
come back to your my chord make sure your my chord is on superstar now your my chord has all these different things that you can use to practice 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 you can do the shoot around or just go to the ball machine and just shoot up a whole bunch of shots i'm telling you put it on superstar make sure your vibration is on test out as many jump shots you need you really just need to give yourself a day Give yourself a good hour or two and just practice, practice, practice. Just shoot around in your my court on Superstar until you can find the right jump shot for you. Now, the things that you need to look for when you're testing out your jump shot, pay attention to how many shots that you make versus how many shots you miss, how many shots you make like white versus how many shots you actually can green. Now, the shot that you can get the most greens is working best for you, okay? The shot that you can green the most on Superstar in your my court is the shot that you need to go with. Play around with the jump shot creator. Test out different bases, different releases, the timings. And another thing about the jump shot creator timing, a lot of people want to put the timing all the way up and... Okay, I'm glad I what just I just thought of talking about that right there. Okay, what I just thought about in the middle of saying that, all right, in your settings right here, you want to make sure your shot feedback is turned on for all shots. Please make sure your shot feedback is turned on for all shots. That is gonna tell you if you're shooting too early, you're getting an excellent release, or if you're shooting late. So when as far as your jump shot speed goes, play around with the jump shot speeds. A lot of people want to turn the speed all the way up. And they go to the park or the wreck and they're shooting all lates. If you're shooting all lates and you're missing all lates, that means you need to slow down that jump shot a little bit. Knock the speed down a little bit. Or just let the button go a little bit earlier. But if you can't get it down to a pack where you can, you know, let that button go a little bit earlier and green it, then you need to slow that jump shot down. You need to slow that jump shot down. That's why having your shot feedback is very, very, very important. You have to learn. The shot feedback is going to give you enough information so you can adjust. You know, so you pay attention to your shot feedback and then you just adjust to it. And then I promise you, you will be able to start hitting your shots more. But the main thing, the biggest tip that I can give you guys as far as shooting, you got to come in this my court and you got to practice, y'all. You got to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. Come up in your my court before you go to the park, before you go to the rig, before you go anywhere. Just practice. Take up some shots. Take up as many shots as you need to. You get that time and now warm up. You got to warm up, man. You don't just go out there and think, oh, I'm going to be great. Nah, because you never know if you're going to have an off day. You never know. You never, never ever know you guys you got to practice you got to utilize what 2k has given you and your my court is going to be a big help that's your own little private practice facility man you got to take advantage of that you got to take advantage of that now another thing that you can use don't feel shame about it everybody does it some people don't do it but majority of people do it i do it i don't care you come yo you take your butt over here and you buy you some booze if you're really struggling with shooting, come over here and buy you some shooting boots. They got boots for everything. Boots for everything. But buy you some jump shot boots and utilize those boots to your advantage. But that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this video helped you guys out. I tried to give you guys the best tips and tricks that I could think of this this is all that I do this I'm giving you tips and stuff from personal experience I've been playing 2k for a very long time and my thing with 2k is my main build is always a build that's not a main shooting build but I still am capable of shooting with my build I always make a slasher that can shoot a bit and I could I'm telling you I can shoot <laughs> pretty consistently with this build I get a lot of greens and it's all about, man, getting your badges, getting your hot spots, and finding that right jump shot that you can time. Like, timing is so important in this game. Like, it's it's so important. 
it's very important knowing your jump shot time and the only way you can know that and learn that is by practicing that's it that's it till you get it down to a science you got to practice but utilizing all of those tips that i gave you guys combining them i promise you you will see a difference in your my player shooting abilities and you will get out there and you will start greening a whole bunch more thank you all for watching make sure you leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to hit that notifications bell